What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we sprayed out all of the parts with some very high temp Cerakote. Now this stuff is still like, it's almost like rubbery feeling right now. I don't want to touch it where you could see it. But yeah, you can tell it's like not even close to being cured all the way. So five full days, these things have to sit and cure before I want to really mess with them and throw this thing back together. So this is the hot side of the turbo, part of the wastegate, turbo cartridge right there, and then all these little like half moon things to bolt the hot side and the cold side to the cartridge. And then we have the intercooler right there. The thing turned out sick and the downpipe elbow right here. In between here is where the wastegate will bolt on. So yeah, we can't really do much on this car until we give these things a few days. Maybe another 24 hours or so, we could probably start like handling them, maybe assembling the turbo, but we definitely cannot run them for a while. With that being said, today is gonna be an Evo 10 day. Maybe a little bit on that thing, maybe a little bit on this thing. This car has not been out of the shop for a while. This car needs some new goodies. I really wanted to see how the intercooler is gonna look, so we set it up on there. This thing is going to look amazing. I'm glad we did it black. Black is always a good way to go on an intercooler. I messed up. Why did I do this? I got really bored of how high the car was sitting. Bobby showed up anyways, or by the way. <laughs> so, I, uh, we cut the springs on this thing and unfortunately, well, it is only a temporary thing, but unfortunately I went a little too hard in the back. So the back is kind of slammed and the front's like not slammed. I mean, it's not slammed, but. She's pretty, she's pretty squatty. Yeah, I went a little hard, but anyways, that's beside <laughs> the point. We're gonna order coilovers most likely for now. We kind of have to, but uh, yeah. We are gonna move on to installing some new lights on the car. We got tail lights and headlights for the car today. Same heads and tails we run on Rose and we run on my Evo 10. They're sick. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's just game changer 101. All right, Bobby, heads or tails? Tails. You want your tails first? Okay. So we already put new tails on the car, but Bobby and everybody and all you guys and me, <laughs> the myself, whole world. My, the whole world convinced me to do a different set of tails. This is what we currently run. Like the 2015 OEM style tail light. They're like 150 bucks, maybe 120. Bargain. The new ones are like 180 ish. So let's pop them out of the box. Well, you guys already know what they look like because I already have them on my other Evo 10. But on this, it's gonna be a game changer. Ooh, fancy. This car's gonna be so black looking. Should we do black wheels and black brakes? Properly, she's gonna look so smoked out. Sure. This is gonna be a game changer. I feel like I'm getting so sick of doing these. I'll do it. Well, frick. What do you mean, frick? I put like 40 pairs of taillights on this damn car. Well, maybe you should get the best ones to start with. Ooh, burn. Try to be cheap. Every time you try to be cheap, it costs you more money in the long run. I try to tell you that all the time. Okay, so these things have included in the box are four taillights. Well, two, one for each side. And then there is some wiring with a resistor that you need to install as well. If you don't install it, you're gonna have problems. If you do install it, you will not have problems. All right, so this outside tail, there is just two screws and that's it. So these bulbs, you do not need. It's a little bit crazy how this works, but all these plugins right here, they plug into where the bulb would go. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Effectively, it's a LED setup. It's a very nice LED setup. Okay, so we got our harness installed. There is an extra place where the factory bulb would sit. You do not use that. You can either leave it dangling or you can cut it off if you want to. And then they have this other wire that pops out right here. And that is gonna run to our harness, the, the spare harness that they included with the taillights. So let's go ahead and get a harness on right now. How does this work again? So before we put the harness on, I'm gonna throw these taillights in just because 
it makes life a little easier for my peanut brain. Oh, looks so much better. Okay, so we got this tailgate on. How this little wiring harness works. The wire with the resistor will run from one of these plugins over to the other side taillight that goes on the trunk, so the inner taillight. And then the one without the resistor runs from right here and then in through the trunk, you can run it through this boot, but it needs to come out right here and plug into this taillight that sits here. Very, very simple. You don't have to run it through the boot if you don't want. You can zip tie it on the back side of the boot, which is still a very, very clean setup. Okay, I was backwards. The one with the resistor, the long one runs to this taillight. Much better. All right, we got the tail lights all installed. Let's go ahead and throw this cover back on. So once again, this is how all the wiring is ran. The shorter cable runs from this tail light to that tail light. Longer cable with that resistor box that we taped right there. Runs from this tail light here, down through the trunk, backside of that boot, and then out to this tail light here. You wanna go turn them on? Damn. Wow. Like I said before, game changer. You haven't said anything. You said Spe wow. Speechless. Oh. I like it. They look so sick on here. Yeah, they do. Damn. That's a whole ass vibe if I ever seen a vibe. I think the smoked out tails go so much better with this dark wrap and the dark wheels and the dark calipers and the dark car. Just a very smoky look. Yeah. Her name is Smoke after all. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. We're all finished up with the tail lights. Now we're going to move on to the headlights. We already black these things out, but they're just not quite as nice as the V-Lance. I'll show you guys why here in a minute, mainly because of that nice little boomerang looking thing that, that is on these things. Well, let's open these things up and see what's inside. These look kind of, like the taillights look cool. Ain't nothing like the headlights though. <laughs> one just looks kind of poopy and the other one just looks like... If you install the headlights, you do have to pull off the bumper. So on this car, there's four bolts on the, like right under the hood. And there should be bolts on the outside, but there's not because the tabs broke off on the bumper. So we got a little fix for that today as well. I'll show you guys later on. Just like that, very, very easy. Do the other ones come with bulbs? Uh, I think so. Mm. Should we check? Mm -hmm. I hope they would. No. I hope there's bulbs in the box. All right, so I didn't realize this and I should have done some research, but they do not come with bulbs or ballasts. So we need to order a set of ballasts. This is if we want to run HIDs. Ballasts, ignited cords, and the bulbs. We could just buy some regular old halogen bulbs and plug them in and be done. I don't want to do that though. So unfortunately, we are going to be installing headlights that are not really going to be able to be driven with until we get some bulbs installed. So, where's that cap? It is what it is. Next time I should read the description, huh? Yes, you should. It'll be okay. All right, so the same concept as the taillights, there is a, a separate harness that we do have to install. So the factory, like the main harness is plug and play. And then to get these, the actual boomerangs to work, you do need to install this. Very, very easy to do. Let's say this end right here, this long end is gonna plug into passenger side. Short, stubby little boy is gonna go to the driver's side. 
and then all we have to do is run it up to the fuse box and plug this into the fuse box. We will figure that out after we get the other side installed. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. The real game changer is when you turn the lights on. Yes, yeah, true. All right, let's get the other side swapped. So on the other Evo 10, we have this right here plugged in right there. Let's see if it works. <laughs> working, sexy working. I do know exactly what bulbs and ballast to run on these. We could have taken the ones off the factory headlights. So this right here is the ballast. That's the ignited cord and then take the bulb out of there as well. And then we would just have to cut this pigtail off, but I didn't really want to cut these things apart. So I'm going to go ahead and order up a set. I will link them down below the exact ones we're going to order. And I think it should be about $60 total for everything. All right, that's pretty much it for the light install. I did acquire a discount code. It should save you guys 10% off. I'll link it down in the description box below to where you can buy these headlights and taillights with the discount code to save you guys 10%. Before we throw the bumper on, because this thing is cracked right on the mount, like they always get right there, it's really hard to keep it on. So we picked up the same exact kit that we run on this Evo 10, these nice little quick release buttons, and that makes life so much easier. We got this kit from JD Customs. Let's open this thing up and get it installed. The only bad part is you do have to cut a hole in the bumper, two holes in the bumper for each side. So if you're scared to cut a hole in your bumper, don't do it, but it's really not that big of a deal. The saying goes, measure 500 times and cut once. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, we went with a double kit. So instead of one button on each side, this kit has two buttons on each side, which is kind of cool. Extra sturdy for all the race car rally car life. So we went with the carbon fiber brackets. I think they have aluminum maybe titanium and carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is super strong, super lightweight. It looks good even though you can't see them. So if I'm not mistaken, these pieces right here need to come off and this guy will bolt on somewhere. Let's figure it out. Can I feel it? You wanna try to break it? I'll make a deal with you. If you can break this right in half, with just your bare hands, no pliers or nothing, I'll give you this car for free. Try as hard as you can. No, I don't want to. You don't want a free car? Maybe I don't want it. Because you can? Because I can't. Yep. You should bolt that on right there. <laughs> it's like that. I'm pretty sure that is how it goes. Like that. Looks about right to me. Bob, you got it right. So take that factory bracket off, grab your little bolt, finagle on the back side. She's pretty strong, huh? Yeah. All right, from here, well, we still have to do the other side, but we can do that in a second. So being that this is a double kit with double buttons, and by the way, if you guys want one of these kits, I would highly recommend staying tuned till the end of the video. You might be able to win one if I'm feeling lucky. So this guy goes through here. As you can see, everything is adjustable. So if you thread that in, and that in, this button will sit farther in. So you gotta adjust to your own spec. What's your spec? Freddy oh. spec. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave those loose for now. I'm gonna do the other side and then I will show you guys how I'm gonna go about knowing where to drill our bumper at because it's always a little bit sketchy. We got the passenger side on. From here is a sketchy part. So what I like to do is, well, what I, what I did on that car so I take the bumper, right, and you put it on, put these bolts on in the center, something like that. So what we're gonna do, if you have a paint pen, that would work excellent. I don't have a paint pen. I'm not rich enough to afford one. We have touch-up paint, and I'm just gonna grab this touch-up paint, it's white, and we're gonna put it on the tip. A little bit of paint on the tip. We take this guy, line it up to where it needs to sit, like that, and push in. Is it gonna leave a dot? Hopefully. That didn't work. It's all slid around. Shit. Take two. 
Third time's the charm. This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, we got some new paint. Take number five. Take number five. <laughs> Close enough. Got him good. I'm gonna call that good. Beautiful. First time's the charm. As you can see, we have a little dot. They're a little bit smeared, but I'm just gonna go right in the center of those lines. So now we need a hole saw. Do we have a hole saw? Coal slaw? Three quarter inch, three quarter inch coal slaw. You're just going in? Beautiful. Beautiful big old hole in my bumper. Beautiful. <laughs> no zoning out. Do that on all of your dots, and then if it doesn't fit, my bad. Sorry, I didn't show you guys properly. We got all four releases on. Moment of truth. And now we're gonna see how far off you are. Watch it be spot on. It is, I can tell. <laughs> no. What? It's not what you lining mean? up. No, it's on. <laughs> We're good. The frick? What are you talking about? What? Honey, push it in all the way. It is. I do my investigation. Or you just gotta screw it in more. So as you can see, we got a little boner sticking out right here. It's not very cool. So that's where the adjustment comes into play. Oh, by the way, this is how you use these things. So right now it's fully clipped in. All you have to do, hit this button. Button one, button two, off. But now we need to thread these guys in so it sucks the bumper into where it needs to be. This one needs to come out. We got it perfect though. Mm -hmm. It's a little sketchy, a little, little bit heavy drill in a three quarter inch hole, four of them in your bumper. Well, I guess we should probably check the other side before yeah. we get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> we actually did it. Did it. All right, so now that we know everything's lined up, everything's adjusted how it needs to be adjusted, I lost the 10 mil. Take your 10 mil that gets lost daily. Just tighten those things down. That's it, that's all she wrote. Oh my lord. What are you doing? Those are so sick. I know. Say it. It's a game changer. Icing on the cake. Do you have any ice I can put on my butt cheek? <laughs> Overall, a fairly successful day. Are we gonna go ride the bike? Yeah. Okay. The taco joint. Today's Tuesday. Bobby wants tacos. We're both fat as bleep right now. Are we fat? Yes. Before we leave the shop, we gotta do a little something something. So we picked up two of these JDC kits for the bumper quick releases. We're gonna give one kit away. So if you want to win the kit, all you have to do is you go down in the comment section below and you're gonna comment. She built, that's it. Wait, one more thing. So you comment she built and you have to be following JD Customs USA on Instagram. I'll have their Instagram handle on the screen. I'm gonna be picking the winner in the next YouTube video. So that might be tomorrow, that might be two days. If I feel like uploading tomorrow, we'll upload tomorrow. If not, it'll be in two days. So do those two things. If you're not following JD Customs on Instagram, if you are the winner, unfortunately you'll be disqualified. So I'll move on to the next winner. But yeah, comment she built, follow JD Customs on Instagram. And if you guys don't win and you still wanna buy a set, I'll have my discount code on the screen that'll save you 10% off those things we just installed or all this other beautiful stuff we have installed on this car. All this titanium, this coil plug setup, beautiful titanium cap, beautiful titanium cap. JD Customs has so many goodies for Evos and GTRs. We don't have a GTR because we're broke, but my discount code will save you 10% off everything. Okay, baby, wrap it up. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I know she built, she beautiful. This is the thumbnail. Can you smile next to your car? Not a thumbnail. That's gonna be a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go rip the bike and get tacos.
Front tire's gotta be a little bit low. She's pushing. She's pushing around corners. I don't I don't vibe with that. A little sketchy. You can tell it's like soft feeling in the front. Oh, are we gonna crash? That's why I was going slow. We were going slow? Yes. Hi. <coughs> right. My PSI gauge says it's three PSI low. Oh, I'm just testing my hand. Yeah. It's like so damn loud. My shoulders are so sore from training. That's a you should put handles for me right here and right here. Please. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Should probably grab my key before someone steals her. Oh. I was thinking on the way here that we should get you a little 250. Well, you said I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe one day we can get you Am a little I bit. Am I only allowed when I'm right behind you the whole time? Yes. Yeah, my dinner is higher. Let's lock the titties out.